Kelly, we have a question from Sienna from Chicago. You said on your blog on BravoTV.com that you joined the cast to show a new kind of housewife. What does that mean? Um, just like, a, you know, like I said, like a housewife that's like, that there's no, there's no price. Like cartwheels have no price. Like, I mean, the life that I lead, you know, you can think that it's like, you know, super glamorous and filled with diamonds and everything, but I have a very relaxed life. And I mean, the, I mean, listen, one thing so, I, one thing I love about these women, like, listen, Jill has the most insane diamonds I've ever seen. I was like, that's a third eye. You know, I love that, you know, Bethany is like super sexy and fun. I love that Luann is an amazing mother, but she's incredibly charitable. I love that, you know, Ramona is an amazing, amazing businesswoman. And I think that Alex is incredibly smart. I'm a different I, kind of house. Gotta, like, you, you see like me as a diamond? That's how you, is that really no, what your first not as a impression? I think yeah, you're no, your first I do impression see, you know is what? that I'm superficial I, about jewelry. It's no, an interesting you know observation because that's like the, if, I am the person who has the least amount of jewelry. Jill Zarin <laughs> and the biggest hurt. Okay, okay anyway. Jill Zarin. I'm just your first have a price. impression. Or don't have a price. Jill Zarin. What did I tell you when I first met you? I said, if my kids like you, I like you. Okay? Out of all the housewives, you are my favorite. And you've always been my favorite. Oh, I thought I was. Sorry. <laughs> I never got to meet your children. <laughs> and you know they're, that. They're, I just want to know how he asked how, if you're a different kind of house. How are you a different nothing. kind of house? I drive a Dodge Ram. Like, I, I'm with I my know. kids. I mean, I'm with my kids 80% of the time. So the amount of time that you tell people that you drive a pickup truck and do cartwheels and wear flats and, and skip through the prairie side, if you're down to earth, people will believe you. They'll know it. You don't have to keep telling them how many times you drive a pickup truck. We all get it. We kind of got the kinda... pickup truck memo. We know. We do. She does have a point there, sweetheart. You're a little, you know, it's, no. it's, there, it's like the girly right. kind of bohemian, bohemian thing. We, I just we have know a different that. lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I do. I have a totally different lifestyle. We know you have we, a different lifestyle. But, we see you. You have to keep but telling don't us. say that we're so different from you. Because we're not that different. You go to maybe parties than I ever got invited to. You're putting in a different category, and I'm not. I'm saying that you guys are an aspirational. You put us in a different category. Yeah, you're aspirational. You live in a $15 million house in the Hamptons. There's nothing more aspirational than that, Kelly. Get the memo. And you live in one of the most expensive condos in New York City. Right. You might drive a pickup truck, but sorry, sweetheart, your house is bigger than mine right. and more expensive. Much. Okay? Right. Get and I mean, memo, write, you write a, so a three-sentence column about Matthew um, Modine talking about how great you look in your miniskirt. It's like, we're not confusing you with Stone Phillips. I mean, you keep talking about this journalism, that you're this journalist. Like... I mean, you're not in Iraq covering the war. I mean, you're writing about, uh, you know, Paisley, Zach, Pose, and dresses. I mean, it's like, get a grip, really. We all no, I wasn't know thinking you, you like that. That that wasn't my point. It's just that we are more alike no. than you think. I mean, you're thinking like no. you're so different. No, but than I'm, us. I'm beginning to think you're mothers. believing that you're here and we're here. Exactly. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> uh oh. oh no. I want to get into that. I do want to get into that, no, but, but you know it's know a good. Saying? It's a point. The point is, no, Kelly, Luan. you come across. And, and I'm being totally honest with you. Please do. I you come across as being lie. somebody that's at another yeah, level fine. than we are. No. And you know what? We are friends. And if you want to be on our level, you're just going to have to come down to our level, whatever that is in your mind. Clearly, the women feel like you're trying to separate yourselves from them by saying that you want to show a different kind of housewife. They think if you're just like them. If I wanted to separate like them. myself from them, I wouldn't be on the show. Let's put it. Let's be honest. If I wanted to separate myself from them, I wouldn't spend any time with them. If I wanted to separate myself, I wouldn't get upset. You barely I would, spent any if time I wanted with to us. Get, if I wanted to separate myself, I would not spend one second. I would have been like, it's my time. I would have walked in for a second and I would have well, left. You I do would that never a lot, have though. commented. I would never have done anything. I'm a very insular person. I'm a very, very private person. You're not me. insular. You're at every and single they, party you, that there is. For five minutes, Bethany. For I know, five but minutes. But still, that's so not insular. Yeah, that's an insult. Wait, so why yeah. To come to somebody's party for minutes? five minutes is kind of insulting. And I don't drink. I say hello to everyone and then I'm like, the conversation's over. No, first you arrive late, then you say hello for five minutes and then you leave. And then the conversation's over. But that's not insular. I have a question. I have a question for you from Tracy mm -hmm. from Cleveland, Ohio, who emailed, you said at Jill's charity meeting that you don't like to lend your name to anything because right. you're a very private person. Right. If you're so private, why would you do a reality show? I took the show because I wanted to move away from everything. I wanted to move away from an old life. I wanted to move away from fashion. I wanted to just do something that was totally different and put me in a different light. And how is this getting away from anything? This is getting right into it. You're walking into every single person's <laughs> house. A fire. A fire. This is <laughs> not an insular New York one street where it's like five women. No, this is a totally different world. So instead of me moving to California, I decided, let me do something that I would never do in a million years. And think about it. If I was so, you know, if I was like making, if I was, if I had some plan, Bethany, don't you think I would have watched the show? 
Don't you I think don't believe I you like, didn't watch the show. Yeah, I know you, 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 your whole, my, your I whole can't line. believe that you would do your a whole television line when show you're doing without, the press. That would be really stupid. Okay, well, how did you, how did you go so on this show without ever seeing it before? I was like, why not? I mean, it took a huge chance. So did you know nothing about any of us? Nothing. That's why I'm surprised when they asked you in a, in a news article, and I can't remember which one, that if you knew any of the housewives, you said no. No, I didn't. I don't know you. Well, I've, I've met you a couple of times. I don't know you. I, I thought you called me your friend. Luann. So that's what I, I have a problem with, Kelly. You guys, honestly, I do have a problem this with is that. semantics. Okay, no, quiet, you know me through personal friends. No, and we've I been saw to you this. once in St. Bart's. I saw you once at the Michon. And what happened and in St. Bart's? And then I saw you once when you were doing CBS. What happened in St. Bart's? You, you gave your me your card, and you said, come to my bikini book party. Right. And I said, great. I called you. You never called me back. Ooh. I mean, okay. never. And I didn't want to bring it up. Ooh. But you never call me back. Whenever you see me in an event, you run the other direction to avoid me. Wow. And when I ask, why does she do that to your good friend? And we know who we're talking about. Who? Oh, Michael? Michael. Mm-hmm. He says... She told me this story. <sighs> She's so jealous of you. Are you jealous of Luann? No. Okay. Well, you asked, I mean, maybe... What is that about? Uh... Maybe I didn't want to say hi. Maybe I was doing something else. Maybe okay. I was. That's I mean, the experience I've had. Not, not to put you on Thank the cross. This is just to lay the record straight. That's the exact just same experience that I've had. Okay, so, but maybe you I don't feel like talking to the men, not the women. Maybe you don't feel like talking to the men. you feel like talking to the men, not the women. But what's the big deal? That it makes you a piece of <laughs> is what's the big deal. It makes you a piece of Okay. She thinks you're better than other people. Bethany, that's the no. big deal. Okay, Bethany, if you th- I need to do that, if that's what you need to do right now, then go for it. I mean, you I, just clearly lay- I've already gone for it. So we're with the cats out of the bag. Okay. And the whole world thinks that you know Bethany Frankel knows everything about everyone. She's okay. in, she's you know in Kelly world. She likes to. She's in Kelly land. land. It's Kelly time. Okay. It is Kelly, it's Kelly time. Kelly yeah, time. Then don't. Then don't. Right there. You know, time pretend time to sit here and be our friend. What do you want from well, me, Luann? I want you to be honest about what. About not talking to you at a party? You want me to be honest with you? That's no, absurd. No, it's 